Darvin trailing at the half, and then AD has the sprained ankle, still down eight at that point. Uh, what what changed defensively? Uh, how did AD push through that and kind of help carry you guys home? I think we did a better job of uh, just you know recalibrating at halftime. We had a, a, a little bit of an extended. Uh, Film session at halftime, showed a couple extra clips, talked through some different scenarios and situations. All got on the same page and um, really wanted to make a focus of keeping them in front of us. You know, I thought we were a little loose at the first half with some of our closeouts. Um, and we did a much, much better job in that department in the second half. And, you know, hats off to Vando, did a great job. You know, we were blitzing them, double teaming Anthony Edwards, but. You know, that's, that's, that's not an easy cover by any stretch of the imagination. So, Vando, him just, you know, being locked in, understanding, forcing him to the screen, forcing him to the uh, double team in the pick and roll was huge. Uh, a, cleaning up the glass. Brian, all these guys chipped in. Dennis with his tenacity defensively. It was great. And different guys at different moments, and we were able to force them into some, of, you know, some really – what I would assume not not so good looks for them and uh, get the ball and capitalize on the other end. Again, the free throw line played a huge role in our victory tonight. Darvin, looked like you cut the rotation to eight and Dennis and Rui defensively, like Rui on Towns, and just the, from the energy standpoint, did you feel like that paid off and how did those two help you in that sense? I, I, I think it did just, you know, at, at the beginning of the game, you want to give everyone an opportunity to see if they can pitch in or, you know, if they got something going. Um, you know, within the mix of those 24 minutes and then try to pare down your rotation as you move along to the latter stages of the game. And, you know, through no fault of their own, certain guys are going to get minutes choked. Um, you can't play everybody in this league. And you, a team like ours is deep and talented as we are. You know, some, some guys are going to get the short end of the stick. So we just try to encourage them to be ready when their number is called. It's difficult. You know, it's, it's, it's high-level basketball. But at the end of the day, you know, we just know we got to be in the right mental space, the right spiritual space as a team. And uh, if you're out there, just be ready to, you know, go all out with your teammates. But. And on the flip side of that is also like the guys that you want to give an opportunity to get a rhythm, you know, yanking guys in and out of the game is difficult for guys to get a rhythm. You have to play guys longer stretches, also being mindful of any uh, medical restrictions that may be, you know, in play. And we have a couple specifically with Brian and AD, but at the end of the day, other guys stepped up. You mentioned Rui, you know, I thought Winyan, and it doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but Winyan gave us some great minutes. B's early, knocking down some huge three for us. Um, everybody was total team man. D'Lo as well. His, his moxie, his craftiness, him slowing us down, making sure we get a good look each and every time down as many times as possible on the offensive end was also huge. Darwin, too. Um, How is AD doing? Um, and obviously was, was limping pr pretty noticeably. Um, He's good. He powered through. Um, got him out of there. Got him back in the back already started the, the process of trying to treat that that issue. I think it's just a, just a twisted ankle, but you know our medical staff is on him right now with that. And then Chris Finch just down the hall right now said of, of AD, he kicked our ass in every way possible. Um, to get that kind of performance from that guy, especially playing through pain, knowing his history, um, what did that say to you? It's a huge step forward for our, our ball club, you know, and everyone knows in order for us to be, you know, at the highest level and playing at the highest level, it all starts with AD. You know, Bron is going to do Bron. Bron is going to be great. And uh, he's great about making the right plays, not forcing things. Uh, D'Lo, Dennis, Austin, Vando, his energy, Bees, everybody off the bench. You know, we, 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 we have a team that can make some things happen, but you've got to have that, that, that one pivotal force that, that's leading the charge. And, and, and in our case, with this particular team here in the moment, it's AD. You know, when he comes out and he's aggressive and we're feeding him and he's not settling, he's putting pressure on the paint, putting pressure on the rim, you know, we find ourselves having a lot of success. So we just have to make sure uh, he's okay first and foremost health-wise and also to know that what the formula is. And, and when, he's, when he's going and he's cooking, you know, everyone gets to eat.